What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy, and today, well, as you see by what the thumbnail is and what the title is, the creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, he passed away last night. And look, I don't want to seem like this is corny and such, because I know this is like the typical thing that most people would do and such, but let me just state off the record like this that first things first I've always say like I'm a Jamaican right through and through so no matter what I'm listening to no matter what it is especially in music wise I'm always Jamaican through and through I always represent my culture right just hear me out when I'm saying this now typically in Jamaica where when it comes to like any anything that's on TV if you know, it, hey, if you're Jamaican like me, you know that normally what always goes on on TV, especially if you don't have like the big cables and such, if you don't have like those cable boxes and such, is normally TVJ, right? But when, it's normally like TVJ because you always get like cable and such, it's always TVJ comes on and that's it. But when we do ever get the big boxes and such, now... Mind you, this is when I'm, before I ever even know about anime and such, I always just consider everything like being cartoon and such, so, yeah. So I didn't even know what the term anime was at, when I was like younger and such at the time when I'm in Jamaica. When I'm growing up in Jamaica and such, right? So, around when I'm like 9, 10 or so, or basically still like I'm growing up and such, right? I came up I came out around Dragon Ball and I'm and I ain't gonna lie to y'all like I'm gonna be like I, when I'm saying I'm being serious with y'all right I never was curious I always just watched Dragon Ball here and there and such just to pass the time and such right cuz it's just a cart cuz no like at the time right just hear me out at the time it's just a cartoon to me. It was just like a normal everyday cartoon. But when I look at the... But as years go by and such, right? You realize that of all the animes that was coming out throughout the years and such. The one that's always been popularized by many things. From celeb for like celebrities, music, and hell, even sports and such. It's always Dragon Ball. I'm and hell, even other cartoons has like little segments or like little scenes of where it's pain is like doing a little homage to Dragon Ball. Where at one like in an instance where I saw a little where I was like watching. If you watch the Amazing World of Gumball, where at one point when Gumball got so mad and, mad and such, they literally. They showed him going Super Saiyan with the gold hair and all that and such. So, as it pertains to me, right? Like I said, within Dragon, like in Jamaica and such, but I've never always thought it would be. I would never thought like with Dragon Ball it would be that big and such, right? Because you would always think like it's just a you. It would be only in the U.S. No, that thing is worldwide. But when I'm looking, but as I'm like talking about it more and more, when I'm looking throughout the entire years of how it is, because I see literally on, because I never thought this would actually is true, that the man passed away, but he did. And it's just so crazy. Sorry. Right? Now, I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all. I haven't watched, a, I, have, I barely ever watched Dragon Ball, right? Cause it's not to say I don't like Dragon Ball. It's just that I never around that time and currently still to this day I don't watch Dragon Ball. But I know the whole spec, a whole it, I know like little to a lot about the a little about how it is and such. But that don't take away from how incredible it is and how world worldwide it is and such. Cause 
you got like professional sports you got like wrestlers the likes of like the new day and such where if you remember there if you're a wrestling fan also if you remember in their entrance at wrestlemania 32 in 2016 not only they came out of this big old box of or these bootios and whatnot but they literally came out dressed as a suit dressed as one of those super saiyans literally literally dressed out as super saiyans that just shows you how how bro how freaking popularized dragon ball is and such i mean hell you even hear it in music today and such where you might hear a rapper saying i'm about to go super saiyan on and ever and so and such right because it's basically like this if it wasn't for dragon ball you wouldn't have a lot of animes that are here today and such because I know about and look we're always gonna want to watch about the Jujutsu Kaisens, the Demon Slayers, Attack on Titan, all of that and such right? But let's be honest if it wasn't for Dragon Ball opening that gateway for animes like these and such let's straight up be honest we wouldn't have them right now and, it, and the thing is right this this whole the stereotype about how if you because you got to think about it before and such right if you were ever to watch any anime and such people would think like oh you're a nerd you're this and that and before but let's be honest because of dragon ball because of because of what akira toriyama did for dragon ball and such it didn't matter if you was a nerd or if you was a cool kid You would watch Dragon Ball. People, people would imitate the Kamehameha, the the say they're about to go Super Saiyan and such, thinking that their hair would literally rise up and such. Hey man, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all. For many times in my life, do you know how many times? If you was like, if you was like me and such. You know how many times you probably went Kamehameha and such, thinking that you were about to release the bomb? Even though we know we couldn't, but you released it so much, and hell, you even... And I guarantee you, a lot of people, whenever Halloween came around and such, for the US, because my, con my country, Jamaica, we don't celebrate Halloween like that. But I can guarantee you, a lot of people who, was wa who watched Dragon Ball over the years, freaking dressed up as either Goku or Piccolo bro and you could have been a cool kid and the thing is with Dragon Ball let's be honest cuz I know this probably I don't know people have, I know it's not technically it but let's be honest it didn't matter if he was white it didn't matter if he was black if it didn't matter if he was Jamaican Haitian bro a lot of people a lot of nations are it's basically like this if it wasn't for Dragon Ball you wouldn't have a lot of whole people of different nations and races coming along to what because people were literally bond over Dragon Ball hell I even just watched Schoolface John a rapper that you guys know about how he loves rap and such but when it comes to his anime and such the one thing he goes over is the Dragon Ball Cause you know he's passionate about that, and I, and I almost see a grown man cry. Not to mock him or anything, but this he a grown man almost about to cry because of this shit. Well, he, he was on the verge of crying until when he had to stop it. And look, I know I know I'm supposed to come with a big old script and all, but look, I always tell y'all this is all anything that I do, whether it's reactions or these discussions, is off the rip. But hey, all I can say is. Rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, your legacy for not only Dragon Ball, but apparently, and look, straight up, y'all. Straight up with y'all. I did not know that this man did a lot of other things too, like one called Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, and so and such. So, that's not, because I told, look, that's on my fault that I didn't know about, because I wasn't in depth with anime like that until three years to three years ago and such when I started watching the likes of like like I said earlier with Attack on Titans, Dragon Ball with 
Attack on Titans, Jujutsu Kaisen, and so on and such. So it's on my fault on that. But either way, just wanted to pay my homage to Akira Tozawa and such. Akira Tozawa. Sorry. Akira Toriyama. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to pay my homage to him in just this little video. And hey, if this doesn't do well, it is what it is. I just wanted to say my piece and such because as a person of, of a different, not even from the US, but mostly from a third world country and such, you would never think that, hell, I even got, there's even people who are from my country saying rest in peace to him. And that's how big you know. That's how big you know Dragon Ball was and how Akira's work was and such. But hey, either way, y'all let me know what was your favorite Dragon Ball moment and such. From whether it was Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time, the tour, the tournament arc, and all that and such, y'all let me know and such. Y'all let me know what was your favorite moment from there, and hell, just let me know what was your favorite Tori Toriyama's favorite. What was your favorite Toriyama anime that she did that that he did y'all watch and such? But yeah, it's been your boy Homozigi signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up, and last time, rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. I'm out.